Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tungsten Tales. It's the 2014 Labrooks World Dance Championship. Happy to say we've been joined by uh, Jamie Caven. Jamie's been around, taking in a little bit of the atmosphere before his big game tomorrow against Sir Raymond. How are you doing, Jamie? Very well, Paul. Thank you. Good, good. So, uh, if you don't mind, come back a, a few nights to uh, a few days to when you played uh, Yella in the first round. That's a tough first round draw, is it? Is, isn't it? Yella, obviously a former BDO world, world champion, but a three-one victory. And there's, if I can remember right, a cracking one-five-eight mm. checkout in, in that in that match. So you went well. Yeah, I think um, it was just about winning the first game, really, because it was. I think I'm guessing the betting would have been quite even. Um, you know, it was probably an even match game. He missed a couple of doubles early and let me in, to be fair. Um, so I just sort of grabbed the chance while I could and luckily enough I, see, I saw it off in the fourth set rather than letting it go all the way. So yeah. just happy to win. Yeah. That's it because I think with the I think we might have mentioned before like with uh, in the previous interview the World Championship lots of prize money not just all about money but the ranking prize money moving on you know it can make mm. such a difference between moving up the rankings can it's in the World Championship with so much at stake mm. extra pressure on that yeah I think so I think everybody feels the same way about it you know certainly those outside the top sixteen because you know if you can have a good run you could be pushing to break in so. Um, you know, I'm just looking forward. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my game. The year's gone really well for me, really. So, um, looking forward to tomorrow night. I'm just going to give it me all and see how we go. Yeah, that's it. Another world champion, Raymond. Uh, this time a five-time world champion. Much history uh, in tournaments between you, 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 you and Raymond. I think we've only played. A, there's not been that many times, I don't think. Um, but the last three have been sort of over the last couple of years. We, we had one a couple of years ago, which was 6-5 to Raymond. Then I beat him 6-5 in Wigan this year. Yeah, right. We were 1-4-4 four, four finish. I'd just like to put that in. Yeah, so you put that in. And yeah. he, he was on a double as well, so it was nice. Oh, nice. And uh, nice. then he beat me 6-5. Um, it was more recent, but yeah. not that long ago. Yeah. So all sort of pro tour events, six fives, and so some crack. Yeah, one four four. That's nice, isn't it? With somebody sat on a double. Yeah. yeah, there they go in. I mean, that that's it. I mean, you've been fantastic in a pro tour. Again, obviously you've won a, a cracking weekend, didn't you? You won, won, won a couple of events. So, so uh, we're looking at that, that that this year. I mean, if we can get through a couple more rounds, and they say we're shooting up the, the rankings, and that's where I would imagine where you think. Well, your ability certainly. You know, you have to you know, look yeah. at becoming really a top sixteen player. I think so. I think um, I think I've done enough to justify it away from the screens. Yeah. It's about doing it when the screens are rolling now, yeah. because that's where the bigger prize money is. That's where the the high ranking comes from. Yeah. So, and I, like I said before, I've started to take my game up there a bit now. So. Yeah. You know, if I can go about the way I am, I'll be uh, I'll be all right. I think over the next couple of years or so, I'll be looking to push in to the top 16. Certainly, within the next year or so. Yeah. I mean, looking at the, the the atmosphere and feeling the atmosphere out there, it is electric to say that say the least. I mean, there's people of this fancy dress again, like we, when we spoke to you down at, at Butlins, but it is absolutely buzzing that out there, isn't it? I mean, um, you, uh, the big stage, obviously you're taking it in this evening, ready for your game tomorrow. Is that something you relish, walking up on, on that stage in front of all those people? And do you just put them, there, they're behind you, and you just just throw your darts? Well, the, the, you know, it's if, if you're playing well, you know, you, you, you don't hear anything anyway because you're so in the zone. But I do like that fact now. And, you know, it have only been a couple of years ago where I'd have been more terrified rather than enthralled with it. So I like to embrace it. And, you know, I like, I like to hear my name being shouted and stuff so you know I know Bonnie's got a lot of fans but if you know if I can get on top of him you never know I could turn him but you know we'll see that's it because I'm looking uh, I think at the stats we still haven't seen we've only one game left now of the first one we still haven't seen a hundred average from any mm. and any player not all about the averages because obviously Mr Chisnell a couple of nights ago 98.5 mm. with the highest average just about here and he went home. Yeah. So, but uh, I think we're maybe the Jamie Cave and Raymond Van Barneveld game. That could be the game. A couple of 106 averages, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? And you come out on top. Oh, yeah, of course, I'll take that. Uh, but it's um, it's been quite weird as well this year because we've not really had the big crowds this early in. It's yeah. normally been sort of from the last 16, yeah, the last eight. Much, yeah. But it's been pretty much sold out, it seems, and it, which is brilliant. It, it shows we're going in the right direction yeah. within the sport. So it's, it's all good and everybody's being reasonably decent you know cheering wise there's been not been too much heckling i don't think not no. that i've seen no. so it's it's really really good and it's it's only good for the future of the sport too i think well thank you very much jamie thanks for for popping in of course best of luck uh, for tomorrow so thank you very much for joining us at home ladies and gentlemen don't forget to subscribe to our free channel it's youtube.com forward slash tungsten tales follow us on twitter at tungsten tales my name is paul Starr. that's jamie caven
Cheers. Chunks and Tails of Sharp End of World Darts. Thanks for joining us.